Hey, I'm Pat Murphy Racy, Sony Artisan of Imagery. I wanted to talk to you today about why the sunsets are so absolutely gorgeous in so many parts of the United States and in Canada. And a lot of it is because of particulate matter. So let's get started. First of all, let's just talk about how the sun works. So uh, when the sun is directly overhead, um, it's punching through the least amount of atmosphere possible. And as the sun sets, as the world is, is, is turning, um, the sun is illuminating more and more atmosphere because it's, it's like covering more of the earth. So just before the sun sets is when we get this beautiful glowing kind of orange light. Um, and what's happening is the, all the particulate matter from fires that are burning up in Canada right now, uh, from the huge uh, Saharan desert dust storm that's hitting Florida and Houston and Jacksonville and in through there, New Orleans. All this, uh, all this matter, it's dust and it's sand from the Sahara. It also can be smoke from the wildfires up north in Canada. All this is being mixture upped in the atmosphere. And right now we have more of that than we've had in years and years and years. And so what's happening is even during the day, we are getting some of the qualities that we get at sunset in the middle of the day. Um, so for photographers, it's a great time to be out there shooting because there is beautiful light at really all times of the day instead of just at sunrise and sunset. Um, and of course, the more particulate matter that there is in the sky, uh, this acts like a filter. And so when the light shoots through it, especially sideways at sunrise and sunset, this also has a tendency to enlarge the sun. It magnifies it in size. So all the dust in the air from fires or from sand and dust, all this is being churned up right now in our atmosphere. And it's making for some very interesting landscape photography. It's a great time to be out there as long as you're healthy and you don't have any problems with COPD or whatever. It's a great time to be out there shooting uh, because there's such, such unusual light qualities right now. Now, I'm typically used to seeing this quality of light in places like Haiti, where cooking fires are really common. Uh, the light down there is otherworldly. Same thing with like Cuba. Um, there's so many cooking fires being lit at all times. There's fires being tended throughout the day, puts all this particulate matter in the air. So we kind of identify the equator or the warmer climates as being the best for light. But in fact, North America right now is seeing unbelievable beautiful light because of the fires and because of the Saharan desert dust. So I hope this has been helpful to you, but get out there and shoot. This is a great time to be out there making landscape photographs, uh, cityscapes, things like that, but especially to shoot the sun and the moon because it's so enlarged because of all the matter that's being lit up by the sun in the atmosphere. Thanks so much for watching.